In today's video, we're going over upper extremity reflex tested to help to rule in or rule out cervical radiculopathy. Reflex testing is important in the diagnosis of cervical radiculopathy. It can help to either rule in or rule out the condition. The other thing is we can use this information to try to figure out which nerve level is involved. When assessing these reflexes, it's important that we check both sides and a positive special test would either be a diminished reflex or a heightened reflex on the involved side. First, we're gonna look at the biceps reflex. This is important for assessing the C5 and C6 nerve root. So first, we wanna make sure we're finding the biceps tendon. So have your patient flex against you a little bit. And I can feel the biceps tendon right here. I'm gonna follow and make sure my thumb is right on there. I'm gonna take my reflex hammer and I'm gonna tap my own thumb or looking for that reflex, all right? Next, we're gonna look at the brachioradialis reflex. So we're going to find the brachial radialis, excuse me, radialis, next to the thumb, the distal end of the radius. And then from here, we're just gonna give it a light tap and assess the reflex. Next, we're looking at testing the C7 nerve root via the triceps reflex. So have your patient bring their elbow up about level with the shoulder. From here, relaxing the whole arm. I'm gonna find the triceps tendon, which is gonna be right behind this bony point right here. Give it a nice tap we should assess that reflex. To assess C9, you're gonna take your patient's phone, bring it nice and close, take the reflex hammer and lightly tap that like button, maybe subscribe too. So now you know your reflexes for diagnosing cervical radiculopathy, you still wanna check myotomes to make sure you have a better clinical examination. I have a video for you, leave it up in the corner there, go ahead and click on that and I will see you there.